Hello and welcome to OwnCloud. Let's take a tour of the OwnCloud user interface. First, you must log in. Well, hello there new user. You'll see this welcome screen the first time you log in to a new account. The links take you to the OwnCloud apps for the desktop, Android, and iPhones. After closing the welcoming screen, you'll see your files. To control your settings, click on your name on the top right and then click Personal. As you see, you can set a new password, change your real name, see your group memberships, and control several other settings. So, let's change your profile picture. You can choose an image already on OwnCloud or upload a new one. Crop the image using OwnCloud's built-in crop tool, and then confirm. This image appears next to your name at the top right, on the System Administrator's user page, and on file shares. Now let's set an email address. You must have an email address for password recovery to work, and to receive activity notifications. Further below, you can configure the notifications OwnCloud sends to you. Select how often you want to receive notifications and what should be shown in the notification stream. Below that is your federated cloud ID. We'll show you a bit later what that's all about. I think we're all set, so it's time to check out our files. On the top left of your screen are your apps, so click the Files app, and here they are. Let's create a new folder, and we'll call it Music. Enter the folder, and then drag and drop some music into it. The little star to the left of the files allows you to mark them as favorites. Favorites are bookmarks, so you can quickly find your favorite files. Click the Favorites filter in the left sidebar to see all of your favorites. When you click on an image, it's displayed full screen. Close the view by clicking the Close button on the top right. The left sidebar has more ways of finding your files. For example, the Shared With You filter. Here you see that Edward has shared several files with you, including that sweet dog and a folder full of secrets. If you click his name, you see some more information about the share. And you can choose to share it further. Let's share with the cat. Oh, the cat is already in the group that Edward shared with. We have to find somebody not in the group, or a file Edward didn't share with the group. The dog image is shared only with us, so we can share that with the cat. See how well they get along. You can share files with people on your own cloud server and with people on other own cloud servers on the internet. This is where your federated cloud ID comes in. It's just like an email address, identifying you to other own cloud users on remote servers. If you want to share with somebody who doesn't have OwnCloud, you can email a link to them. You may also set an expiration date on the share and protect it with a password. In the sidebar, you can see what you have shared with others. The external storage filter shows you files which are not on your OwnCloud server, but added by you or the system administrator from an external location, like an FTP server, SharePoint, or even a USB drive. Files which are shared this way act no differently than other files. You can move them around and put them where you want them. Some folders are locked. The User Pictures folder is on external storage, and if you open it, OwnCloud tells you that you have no rights to upload or create files. Now let's create some files, a simple text file for starters. You can rename files with a little pencil icon, and you can edit a text file just by clicking on it. When you click Save, your changes are saved. OwnCloud preserves versions of files. If you make a mistake, you can go back to an earlier version, download it if you want, or just replace it with a newer version. See, that's all good. Now let's share this file with the Freedom Fighters. You see, you can give access rights to those you share with. If this was a folder, you could allow or disallow uploading and modifying files. When you don't need a file or folder anymore, click the trash can on the right of each entry to delete it. If you accidentally delete a file, you can find it in the trash bin and easily restore it.
Thank you for watching, and enjoy keeping your data under your control with OwnCloud.